breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact being made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Zalia is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Zalia? Thank you, Ruby and Elodie. I'm Zalia, reporting live from Lambton Key. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets. As New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities, these space invaders seem capable of destroying our, the country and the planet, unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Zalia, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters reporters, sorry, into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Josiah. What's happening over there? Hello there, darling. Well, yes, it is very tense here. What we can tell from these alien creatures is that they smell really awful, like a mixture of dog poo and McDonald's. It looks like one of the aliens is about to address to us for a special translation device. But first, where's the toilet located? <sighs> Take a left, right, left, right, down, left, right, left, right, round, right, town, hip town. Good to know. Karaoke on Tuesdays? <sighs> Good. <sighs> People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of planet Shrala from the galaxy. We demand these following things in no particular order. We want control of this planet and all its McDonald's. We want all of you guys to know that every McDonald's is ours. We want to eat food. We hungry. If you do not give us these things in three days, we will blow up this planet with our solar cannons. This is all. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement. So we cross now to parliamentary reporter, Ryan. Thank you very much. Here we have the Prime Minister, ready for a big speech to tell the world what we should do for these aliens and whether we should run and hide or whether we should stay and fight. You look kind of familiar. Have I seen you before? Uh, never mind. Tina Koto Katoa. Citizens of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that, that define New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today, then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile, then quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That's all from me. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we have collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we do? A sugar can easily kill aliens. Well, obviously that sounds completely foolish because what we should do is hire cow assassins and arm them since they're doing something with aliens. That's completely idiotic, you enraging elephant. That sounds so stupid, you hideous hippo. You lying lizard. You bald-headed monkey. You two timing to a tar. Oh. 
Well, thanks so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Uh, thanks, Aladdin. Let's have a look what happened out there. In Auckland, there is all streets as the aliens try to knock over the sky tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lodge. Where are they relaxing in per preparation for killing us all? A meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strict partnership with the uh, region's cow community. And in Denardin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the wards, stepped street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be a porch. Uh, well, I'm going to hide hide in my basement. Back to you, Robbie and Elodie. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow. If there is one.